not a wolf biologist. I'm not a mammologist. I'm not even an animal ecologist. My interest really came from uh, being a forest ecologist and being interested in the northern forests and the lake states. And the, uh, the fact of the wolf as a component that had sort of gone missing as part of that ecosystem. And so when they started coming back, um, you know, in the, in the 80s, we just started paying more attention to that and, and thinking about it more and thinking, well, you know, we should be paying attention to this because wolves affect deer, which strongly affect the forest, um, things like that. So that's really where my, where my interest came from. Well, back when we, we did this, we had, I don't know, 40 or 50 wolves in the state, I think, and 80 was the official goal. And our estimates uh, came up with about 450 uh, as a possibility. Most people really didn't believe it. Um, or if they did, um, they thought, oh my gosh, then what would we do? You know? <laughs> and so, and that's where we are. 500 wolves is not a huge number from that standpoint, especially when it's a species that really requires this, this social pack structure to survive. And so, for example, you know, uh, other scientists like Tim Van Dielen have talked about uh, what effect a uh, hunting season might have, even if you're not killing that many wolves, but if you're um, really re destroying the pack um, structure by, say, removing a dominant animal, it could have a much bigger effect. So I think we're going to have a difficult time for a while sorting out how we're going to live together and, you know, what's going to be acceptable to, to different groups. But that's what we have to do. I mean, it's what we have to do with, with everything. Thank you.